Hey guys, uh, today I'm working on a, a drive titan wheelchair and the tire will refuse to come off and I wiggled it and everything and it won't come off. So I'm going to show you how to get a stuck tire off of a, a wheelchair. What I got here is a, it's a gear puller. Um, you can get these up at the hardware store. Let's see. You have some kind of a point. As you can see, there's actually a hole right where the shaft is. There it is. And what that is is that point on the gear pull goes there, and you have these hooks that goes inside of the uh, hub, and it will tighten and you tighten it up with a socket wrench, and it'll come out. So let me demonstrate that for you as best as I can. So let me just. Fasten it. It's best just to loosen it uh, as much as possible first. I'm trying to do this one handed. Now some of them are two legs and some of them have three. This one I'm using right here is three, but a two should still work. I usually have a craftsman, but I have misplaced my craftsman. I may not even use the third one. Oh, here we go about it in. <clears throat> Might as well. <clears throat> okay. So what you're going to do is get a good angle here. So you're gonna go ahead and just tighten it up. Okay. I got a little too much slack. Okay, just give me a second. So I'm just tighten it up. When I start getting close, I'm gonna go ahead and line it up. There we go. I'll go ahead and just do that. Okay. There we go. So you see it's starting to pop into place. Okay, I just hand tighten it first as tight as you can get it. <sighs> All right. Tighten it a little tighter here. Alrighty. So what I have here is I have my breaker bar and my socket on the side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the correct socket on and uh, start tightening it up. Uh, yeah, and get a little more tighten up before I move the camera. Make sure it goes on straight. Okay, so it is a little bit dark. You should see the tire start to move a little higher. Okay, and there is a key. That the tire is actually set on that holds them in place so you, you have to be careful when you take the tire off that you don't lose your key it's a little uh, rectangle metal piece so you can see the tire is actually coming up and you definitely don't want to get a crowbar and a hammer um, before we started getting into the gear pullers Hold on a second. When it gets really tight, that's a sign that it's just about done. Let me see. You can't really see it. Okay, it's almost completely off from the shaft. And I've done this several times. And uh, when it gets that loose, uh, what I do, when it gets really loose, it gets extremely tight where it would take like a, 
a horse in order to turn it. So you don't want to keep turning it. Um, now I've seen some from the get-go it's that hard, then, then I understand sometimes you have to quit, loosen it back up, and then wiggle it out because you'll end up with the this stuck on a tire and you have nobody to help hold it to give you leverage to get the thing off of it. Now you're in a different mess. If that were to happen and you got this stuck on here, you might want to put the key back on there. Or if the key's still on a tire, great. Just line it up right, put the tire back on, and then loosen it back up. And then it'll still be loose enough for you to wiggle it out once you get this off. So I'm going to try to take this off. I'm going to put my knee underneath the tire. I'm going to start loosening, or actually go in the other direction this time. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. Sorry. Take these legs off. Hurry up before it gets too dark. And as you can see, the uh, it's practically out of there. Just, uh, aha, there you go. And, uh, you can't really tell. You can kind of see it. Sorry, it's so dark. There is a key on here, and it actually stood in the stayed in the motor, so that's good. So that's how you take a tire off um, of the chair. And what I was saying about the crowbar thing, um, if you we've had a chair completely perfect, and we took the tire wouldn't come off of it, so we took a crowbar and a hammer, and finally got it off, and the motors didn't work after we did it. So we lost quite a bit of money. And this is very low impact, and um, I mean, every chair is different, but usually there's spokes where you can put something in. If there's not, sometimes there's screws on the outside of the tire. You can unscrew that where the front plate comes off of the rim, and when you get that, you can actually, there'll be a hub right behind that plate. I know the hub arounds are like that, so uh, sometimes you do have to take apart the front hub if there's no spaces in between there should maybe be some screws um that you can take off and the front cover come off and then it'll be like a little hub and you can actually get the gear pull around the hub and it'll pull it out so i hope this video has helped somebody thank you guys for watching Move it backwards. This is the same chair, drive top, and this is a different tire on it. I'm going to use a smaller gear puller because, as you can see, it's really <laughs> narrow in there. So, I have to make this work. So you can see there's a 
little point there that kind of goes right there. So I'm going to try to put it let's see, best spot possible. Okay, so I have the gear puller in there, and so I'm going to put my socket wrench and start tying it, and you should start seeing the rim move out. Okay, you can kind of see the shaft that it's pulling it. Uh, every time I keep pulling at it. Okay. So, keep tightening it. close okay. Uh, okay keep going a little further Okay, you still got a little bit of ways. It probably would have helped to have a third hook on there, but this one is my old one and it's broken. So some of them are too, anyway. I should still be able to get it off. power wrench breaker bar Should be getting close. I'm just gonna go a few more rotations. This phone is being stupid. It's almost about close to halfway off.
Okay. So at this point, let's see, it's still about halfway. Few more turns in here. It's a little bit easier. Let's see. So when you get so much of the uh, the tire out, you kind of see it's a little bit there. You can actually take the gear puller out, loosen it. Uh, if it gets way too tight, you know something's going on. So just take the gear pull off and uh, kind of lift up on a tire a little bit, and make sure the motors are locked, and start wobbling it as you pull on it. And eventually, the tire will come off. Let me try to do this <laughs> with one hand. <clears throat> okay. So the wobble technique is a good technique. Um, sometimes, see the shaft sticks on the motor sometimes, on the, the key sticks on the shaft and sometimes it falls out or gets stuck in the, the tire so make sure you don't lose it. Um, the wobble technique is something you're gonna have to do because you definitely don't want to get this stuck on the tire and sometimes it doesn't even pull it all the way through anyway so just um, do what do what you saw there just make sure the, the motors are locked the levers are locked and uh, somebody can help hold the chair somewhere and you can lift up on the chair make the tires off the ground start wobbling it back and forth and pulling at the same time and eventually after a minute or two it'll come out uh, so that's how you use the gear pour, puller on uh, two different styles of rims you have to be very particular because you can see how much different this one was from this one and it was the same chair you see this is a lot bigger opening than this one has so when you buy a gear puller you have to have that in mind because a lot of the gear pullers are way too big for some of these uh, rims so I would definitely if you work on a chair if you're gonna go to Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever and I would actually just take the chair with you and uh, ask for some help and um, I'd actually take it out of the box <laughs> and just try it there at the store. Why waste the trip? So, there you go. I hope this helps somebody. Thank you for watching.